It's Gamer on Grant Street. Ooh. Hey guys, what's going on? It's Gamer on Grant Street here, back with another YouTube video here for your faces today. The gameplay in the background is some BAL on Biolab, and I just got off a really, really frustrating session of Call of Duty Advanced Warfare. Between lag, and then I was trying to get some gameplays for certain guns, uh, because I'm doing this video right now. Uh, this is the Advanced Warfare Weapon Guide. What this will be will be pretty much a guide to the weapons, obviously, give you best class setup, best, uh, pretty much just best class setup and stuff. So you guys can optimize your Call of Duty Advanced Warfare experience. And the only guns, I have a bunch of gameplays, but I'm going to start with the Assault Rifles, which is why we're doing the BAL first. I have BAL, AK-12, and HBRA 3 gameplays down. I've had an IMR gameplay, I guess I deleted it by accident. But the IMR isn't going to be too hard to get. It is the MK-14 and the ARX-160, I believe it's called, that are semi going to worry me to a degree. Um, So, let's break it down. So, we're going to be going. I will have a picture up on screen of my class that I'm using right now. It does have the BAL-27.308, uh, which is a professional version of the BAL. One, the version I like. Uh, it is my only version, but I've used the other ones by picking them up off the ground and everything. Anyways, so what we're going to be looking at here is the BAL, obviously, the quick draw grip and the foregrip. I've learned that silencers aren't the best route in this game, and I don't know why it's that way, but it is. So, flak jacket. Flak jacket. Alright, so in AR, you're going to be a little bit more passive. Uh, obviously, the gameplay doesn't show it too well, but you're going to be a little bit more passive with an AR just because an AR is an AR. So, you'll have, like, nades. If you're holding down a position like B flag or something, you will have nades thrown at you non stop so you guys need to worry about that with flak jacket next peripherals it's just kind of the perk I run on most of my classes it helps out with the minimap so much yeah there's fast hands yeah there's gung ho uh, cold blood and blind eye blind eye unless you're using silencers not really useful not as cold blood gung ho you're using assault rifles so assault rifles don't really need the only perks that I can figure to be used would be peripherals and fast hands next we are looking at Toughness, a perk that's always working for you. Toughness is great. It is literally one of the best perks in the game. And I wouldn't still call it a crutch perk because I've played without it. And I've done decently well in Advanced Warfare here. Blast Suppressor, another perk that's always working for you. This game is all about movement. Everyone knows that. You need to be able to move around. And Blast Suppressor with the excellent movements pretty much takes that off the entire mini map. Obviously there's a sound, but it's always working for you in that aspect. Next, we will be looking at the exo ability. I have the mute device uh because I was doing a stealthy class, but this is great especially when you're near objectives. Another one I would recommend would be exo ping if you're near objectives cuz that that really helps out a lot. And we have one frag purely because I like frags more than anything else in the game. That and we had a slot left. After our score six, which are UAV. I always run extra assist points on the UAV. That's just me. I don't know why. We have bombing run and paladin. This is one of my stronger classes, so I'm trying to get the paladin, which is weird because I got everything, all the original starting kill tricks except for the paladin within the first two days of playing the game. And I've just been on a grind and on the struggle to try and get the paladin. Haven't gotten it yet, but that will be in a kill trick video because I will get it come hell or high water. So we have the UAV with extra assist points, bombing run. Bombing run is a good overall kill streak in general. You guys see that when I do the video on it very shortly. And then the Paladin, obviously, and that's it. Oh, and we are running press through grade so we can run toughness and blast pressure. So we're going to be ending off the video there. I hope you guys enjoyed the commentary and or the gameplay and the tips and tricks because that is what my channel is going to be morphing into for Advanced Warfare. That was what my channel was before, but... You know, with the whole Google resetting me, I kind of had to start off doing whatever I wanted. And this is what I want to do, but, you know, whatever I felt like doing near the end, which was competitive. And you guys will be seeing some competitive advanced warfare. That will not go anywhere. Anyways, guys, this is Gamer on Grand Street. Like, favorite, comment, subscribe if you guys enjoyed the video. Always like if you liked the video. Comment, give me some constructive criticism. Tell me what I did wrong. Tell me what I did right. Tell me how to improve. And subscribe if you guys want to see some more awesome advanced warfare content. And this is Gamer on Grand Street. Peace out.
God.